Hey guys, welcome back to Blasphemous. We're continuing on looking for some of the collectibles that we couldn't pick up the first time uh, we went to the various areas. I'm just going to drop down here. And uh, is there anything I need to upgrade? Um, a few things. I don't know if I have the money for it. 11,000 for the Cyclone Spinning Attack, Sacred Blood. Um, alters the trajectory of the projectile and makes it return, which would be nice to have, so let's unlock that. There is one item that I forgot to pick up in the shops along the way, uh, so I might go back there later on. Probably not this episode. For now, let's head over to the Brotherhood of Silent Sorrow. Um, I do have a spare knot that I can add. So let's see, I think this is Soledad. That will give her the knot of rosary rope. New rosary, new rosary mystery available. Um, so let's see what we can do there. Go to the ro uh, rosary beads. Um, protects the wearer from damage through contact. I think it reduces it because I still seem to take damage. Um, Protection from toxic damage. Don't really need that. Protection against magical. Let's go with the big bead of red back, uh, red wax and blue wax to strengthen vitality and fervor. Dropping down here. down into Hondo, um, so we're just here, hitting across to the left, taking out the enemies, opening this up, Taking him out and picking up the collectible, uh, the Pelican Effigy. Bead made of forged copper coated in a dense aquamarine patina. The Pelican fed its children with its blood protects the wearer from all harm while they drink from the bile flask. May our chest full of cuts bleed, for when it spills red it will feed the hungry. Let it bleed, for when it pours upon this land of the dead, it shall be blessed. In the eyes of the miracle, and those who rest here shall live on the other side of the dream. On the way of eternal processions, let it bleed. Okay. So heading across to the other side, hopefully I remember how to get out of here. down here, take him out, how did that miss? Uh, climbing up on this side, uh, once we get into the next room, uh, we should be able to see the uh, the golden chest there, um, so that's what I want to grab. I'm a little bit worried about falling down if I try to jump across. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> okay. So from this side, climbing up the gnarled roots when they appear. There we go. And opening up the chest. Inside, we're going to find Solia of Excommunication. So this is another prayer. Prayer that ignites the blood with unbridled fervor. For a while, the quick attacks of the penitent one are replaced with a devastating blow that annihilates enemies. Sounds like it would be good for a boss fight. I'm going to hang on to 
um, the lightning strikes. I do kind of like that the best. Well, one of the best. Yeah, so I need to head back into the room on the left. We're heading down to Grievance Ascends. Um, so we should have opened up the um, shortcut here. I really don't like these um, these spikes that kill you, kill you with one one shot. Um, so just dropping down. Heading over here to the left, um, dropping down into Grievance Ascends. Um, let's just rest at the shrine here, just in case. And let me see, let me see. There is something... Um, yeah, one of Miriam's quests is over here. Uh, then there's a Child of Moonlight here, another rosary bead down here. I really wish there was a, a little bit better um, fast travel. about that for now and just dropping all the way down <gasps> uh oh um, I just realized I might not be wearing the correct relics no I do have the silvered lung of Dolphos so that's fine Heading through and then up for Miriam's um, shard. Now I didn't open up the secret the first time around, but uh, we can break the wall here. Head through to the secret room and we can take on the next um, shard challenge. This time we've got two minutes to get through. Now I'm fairly difficult. Uh, let's see if I can make it. Uh, pulling the lever and then just heading up on the right. No, not on the right. Miss, uh, messed that up. That's fine this way. It's fine. Heading over to this platform, tapping down, dodging this one, dodging through, heading up. Now we're going over to the uh, right, going up here, doing a little double dash, down, just between the fireballs, I do do quite a bit of damage, sliding down, pulling the lever, come on, come on, let's go, let's go, taking the platform up. Over to here. Over to here, touching the fireballs. Do another double, um, double jump there. It's hard to, hard to dodge everything. Back up on the other side. Um, up here, pulling the... Oh, come on. Pulling the lever. Alright, uh, and we're riding this across. Um, actually, I do want to go up. This is 
a bit of an auto scroller. There's nothing I can do to speed it up really. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna restart. Okay, let's try this again. Heading through to the left. Pulling the lever, jumping up. Platforms here, I'm gonna get hit. Oh no, I somehow managed to avoid that. down, still 15 seconds to go, so not too bad. Let's pick up the shard. So that's the second of five shards. It's another three to find. And we are just heading all the way down to the bottom of this area. what we're here for, the Child of Moonlight. Right, number 30 of 38. And then heading across here for the Rosary Bead. The knot of hair, tangle of hair, knotted with the strength of three broken bonds. A strong knot allows it to be used as a Rosary Bead, carrying part of its unyielding strength to the wearer. Uh, to the wearer. Uh, all those who had come to the sacred link knelt in the presence of that fruit of the miracle, thus making it an object of worship from that moment on. We built an altar worthy of such holiness and placed it there. Shortly afterwards, during one bleak night, the priests who slept inside the church heard a loud groan. A cry made of three voices, yet one voice at the same time. When we got there, the egg was gone. Ever since then, I've been looking for it, visiting all the places I could and talking to every soul I could. Um, okay, so we've got the uh, Child of Moonlight, the Artifact, we've picked up the Shard. Um, next, we're heading over into the Desecrated Cistern. I guess I could go... Yeah, this, yeah the teleporters aren't, aren't very nearby. Which is a little bit frustrating. through here. Okay, she's left behind some tears uh, when she died. Um, I think it's not there when she dies, but if you leave and come back, they appear. Should be a lift here up to the desecrated cistern. Um, so let's call that down. There's an 
on there that I want to grab. Child of Moonlight as well. Um, let's just make sure I have the right relic and I will drop down. Right, so let's get rid of that and we'll wear the linen of golden thread. I'm just going to drop down here on the right. Oh, I don't have any further, so I can't... Right. Um, dropping down here on the right. Um, for this collectible here. The Vicula of Bananu, the murderer. Um, Bananu, although clumsy, took advantage of his cheerful and joyful demeanor to trick merchants and clergymen with the intention of killing them and stealing their belongings. Alright. Do that. I'll call the. Oh, call the. I thought that was a, a descent down into the abyss, but that's fine. Uh, let's call the lift again. Now that I've got some fervor, I can use my ranged attack to break the um, the glass around the child of moonlight. Um, so let's take this up. Yeah, I could do this now. Um, this is a little room, uh, there's a little puzzle here. We need to fill up this chalice uh, with the blood of these creatures, which I will do later on, but for now I will just pick up the artifact. Rusty iron cup of simple appearance. Its interior is embossed in lackluster silver and depicts rows of spiral verses which descend to the bottom. These rhymes speak of pagan beasts and forbidden fruit. But Father, where are all the idols painting his statues that the mother has seized and banned? If they were inspired by the faith in our miracle, they should not have been destroyed, for it would be a grave sin. I don't know, dear son, but I would bet my faith that those underground galleries hide more than air. Okay, so we're going to sort that out later. For now, we're just dropping down, and I'll take the lift back up. Um, now it could be that there's some gas we need to deal with here, some poison gas, so let's grab the relics, um, get rid of that, put on the, uh, the Delphos relic there. Um, now we are heading um, this area we need to explore down here, just heading across all the way to the right. Um, and one of the relics I do need is going to be... Hmm, what shall I get rid of? This one for now. And we'll put on the nail upgraded from dirt. Just to get a little bit of extra healing. Um, so, just over here, past the shield maiden. Um, yeah, these poisoned um, spots. <laughs> Uh, super annoying. Okay, there we go. Um, looks like I'm in the right room. So, Child of Moonlight, 32 of 38. Uh, then we have a golden chest inside. We have the Zambra to the resplendent crown. So another prayer, him in tone to the rays of the sun, which generously bathe even the darkest of places, his blessing increases the tears harvested by mere culprit for a while. 
Many yearn for these rema uh, remainders of the miracle, but greed can prevent them from recognizing what truly matters. I cannot hold your hand now that you sleep in the wind among the trees. I cannot speak to you now that you are singing with the midnight crickets. I cannot see you now that you are looking from the sun into the hot sand, and I cannot forget you, for you will always be part of me in memory of Mariano Sola. Okay. What's happened to my slide? There it is, that's what I was trying to do. Uh, so back this way. I'm um, jumping all the way down to the bottom. Sliding under the wall here and then jumping up here for the severed hand. A severed hand that tightly grasps a broken belt, sometimes afflicted by slight spasms. The affliction sometimes leaves this mark on mundane looking objects, unable to reveal the miracle under its mantle of corruption. As soon as the atrocious earth tremor was heard, they knew something dreadful had happened. They searched for their master in the deepest parts of the cave, where they were met with a gigantic dust cloud that extended far beyond their eyes. And even though they called the name of their master, there were no answers. Days went by until the cloud cleared and they could face the devastating consequence, uh, consequences of the landslide. Feeling hopeless, but suddenly amidst their tears, they heard a faraway sound. Okay, so we need to head around... Um, you're heading down here. Uh, I do want to go back there um, just to uh, improve the flasks. Um, probably didn't need to do that. That is fairly expensive as well. Come on. Okay, into the mist. Um, now we couldn't explore this room the first time we came here. So opening up the gate here, we can get across to the other side. Did I not go up here? There shouldn't be anything up here. Let's just fill in the map anyway. Dropping back down, heading across to the left for the Child of Moonlight. Uh, then dropping down. Um, heading to the right first. And over here we've got the uh, hyoid bone of Senex. Senex spent a lifetime fleeing pain which caused more and more suffering to his tormented soul. Only when he accepted pain as part of his life did he find a meaning to it. Okay, poor Cynix. And then over here to the left. Um, so, yeah, let's have a look at this. Oh, I need to be able to talk to the corpses, so let's... Oops, wrong button. Uh, let's change the relics again. I wish we could have at least four relics. I guess we'll get rid of that and place... Get rid of that and place that in the Shroud of Tramp Sins. Talk to the corpse. Half do not return. And this one says, everyone passes. Okay, interesting. Uh, heading on through, opening up uh, the access to this lift here. Uh, the lift shaft, that's where we were earlier. Uh, heading back, this has got now got a number one on it. 
Um, so basically for this little puzzle, um, half do not return, everyone passes. So everyone who comes through here um, passes out this way, but then half of them will return. So we need to show this using the other uh, boards on the back. Um, I don't think we can do two one. Yeah, that does not work. So we need to go up to at least four. So let's get four people to pass. Uh, so that's three, uh, and then four, and then half of four is two. So let's go back out here once more. Four, two. You can use six, three or eight, four, but it's just easiest to go to four, two. Uh, and inside we have another rosary bead, the silver grape. A dead fruit converted into a bead in a display of clerical vanity. Its cold hardness passes onto its wearer, enhancing their defenses considerably. Confessions from Dolphos, part two. I must melt more beads, as many beads as I can. I need their silver, I need their embellished floral curves. The virtue of silver will adorn my lungs inside and out. And when I breathe, the pure grace of miracle will penetrate. It will embellish my stomach inside and out. And when I eat, I'll be nourished with the pure grace of the miracle. It will ornament my eyes inside and out, and when I look, I will see the miracle itself. Okay, enhances defenses considerably. So let's actually use that. I'll take off the big blue wax, place the silver grape on instead. Um, let's head out of here. Um, now I did jump across to the other side, didn't I? This is where we picked up the chalice. So let's have a look and see where the nearest area to go would be. I guess um, I want to head up there and improve the flasks. Now the lift doesn't go that far up, does it? So let's... I guess we're heading back up this way. Unless I can drop down to the teleporter. <gasps> no, no, Ooh, let me change. I really wish I could have more relics. So let's get rid of that and place this on, the linen golden thread, so I can drop off these big gaps here and not die. Um, oh, damn. Okay, well, I, I can't. <laughs> Brilliant. I can't reach the teleporter. Actually, it has taken us back up to the very top, so that's fine. Um, from here, we're just heading straight up. So we do have the Quicksilver. I'm going to sacrifice a Bio Flask. Uh, let's improve Grace the flask. Now I can only do it once because I don't have the um, tears to do it again. I bless the mixture that will recover your spilled blood. Uh, but that should be fine for now. And from here, I don't want to return to Albero. Actually, we can get more tears uh, back in Albero. Because um, we will be dropping off the bones here. Okay, dropping off a lot. Can you already hear their song? Can you already hear the ancient aria? The lady who sang to the bones has awoken. The skeletal remains on the other side have opened the door to you. They bid.
bid you welcome. But beware of the secret they wish to share. Okay, so there is a boss there, which I'm not going to deal with right now. Um, we do... well, let's... Let's do this first. Back here to upgrade the flasks once more. 7,000. Graceful be the hut. With this silver, I bless the mixture that will recover your spilled blood. Okay. Bile flasks have been improved. I, I don't think tired. we can do it again. Please. No. He feels uh, too tired. Yeah, so the um, the bone collector there has opened up a, a doorway to a boss fight, which I'm not going to worry about right now. It's a very, very difficult boss fight, actually. So we're just going to carry on picking up all of the other items that we can find. Heading across here to the, uh, the water fountain. Over the severed hand. At the time of its death, before the journey, the miracle kissed the hand of the master, stopping the corruption of the flesh and granting him a new grace. In the name of the high wills, I bless this relic. Watch over it, for it is now pure and sacred. You have acquired incorrupt hand of a fraternal master. Sacred relic in a perfect state of conservation. The hand shakes gently when it considers it necessary secretly articulated by ethereal muscles and tendons. The bell that is holding warns the wearer of the nearby presence of a mystery. After all, no bastion is safe from the tenacity of the truly curious. As soon as the atrocious earth tremor was heard, they knew something dreadful had happened. They searched for their master in the deepest parts of the cave, where they were met with a gigantic dust cloud that extended far beyond their eyes. And even though they called the name of their master, there were no answers. Days went by until the cloud cleared and they could face the devastating consequences of the landslide. Feeling hopeless, but suddenly amidst their tears, they heard a faraway sound. Okay, so that's the last relic. Let's just make the checkpoint here. And quick look at the map. So we do want to go over to the uh, the library um, because there is something which is not showing up here, which means I'm going to have trouble figuring out where it is. I think it's here. Um, let's take the teleporter to Mercy Dreams. Yeah, one of Miriam's um, shards is in the library. Looks like I didn't actually open up the room, so it's not showing on my map. So just climbing up here, running across to the right. Um, and I'll see if I can remember where this third shard is located. It's, I think it's in one of these side rooms here. Um, or is it past the shrine? I think it's actually past the shrine.
Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's just continue through here to the right. And we've cleared out a puzzle room to the right here. Taking out for the extra tears. Watching out for the librarian ghosts. So you do need to be able to see the blood sand, uh, jumping across the ledges, and then up the gnarled route over here to the shrine. Let's make a checkpoint here. Um, okay, let's check the relics once again. So I'll get rid of that, and I'll put on the lung of Dolphos. Oh, my sliding is just not working. Okay, so, should be another room here. Let's just break that open. Uh, head on through and attempt the third mirror. This time we've got two and a half minutes heading uh, across to the right. Up here, avoiding the spikes. Um, I'm just gonna drop down. Don't worry about taking damage too much. Double jump here, uh, climbing up, sliding, breaking that, jumping across here, taking the uh, platform down, double jump here. Just staying on this for the second fireball, and then for the oh. Nope, that was too, uh, too, <laughs> too early. Let's try that again. Once again, lots of, lots of instant death spikes in this level, which can make it quite frustrating. But the smaller spikes, I'm not going to worry about taking damage from them. I'm just going to go straight through them.
Okay, dropping down after the spikes have come up. Take me hit there, but that's fine. Um, to get up here to the top, get down to the bottom. Just staying low. There we go, this should do it. Staying low on the third one. Uh, climbing up, jumping across, sliding down, and then we've made it to the third shard. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so that's shard three of five, two more to go. Um, let's take a quick look at the map. Um, so we did Mother of Mothers uh, a little while ago. We just need to head up now to uh, the Arch Cathedral. Um, so across to the shrine and then up and through Mother of Mothers. Surely I can have a, a one hand free to swing my sword. Anyway, make, wait, make my way up. Let me take out some of these enemies. Why is he still alive? Did I not do that last time? I guess I didn't trigger that last time. Uh, jumping across. Avoiding the spikes. Heading through to the mother of mothers. Let's see if we can just get a few more tears. Coming up here using the shortcut. Uh, continuing up. Uh, missed him entirely, fair enough. That missed him entirely as well. So just making our way up all the way to the um, Arch Cathedral rooftop and we'll save the game here.